everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel my name is miss tamika i upload videos once a week which is sunday and then i also throw in a bonus video throughout the week and with that being said i have my new bag here so i'm ready to share what fits in here how it looks on the body and things like that so if y'all want to see how this baby look with see what can fit in this bag then please keep watching my unboxing of my new coach page 27 like i mentioned in the unboxing i'm not sure if i'm going to keep the bag as of yet once i finish these two videos i'll go ahead and play with the bag a little more just to make sure i'm loving it because again like i said before i like to I like to love something before I decide to keep it. And again, that's that's what returns are for if you're not loving anything. I wasn't able to see this particular bag at the coach outlet because they didn't have any at the outlet at the time. They only had it online. So I was like, okay, I'll purchase it. If I'm not loving it, I can always return it to my nearest coach outlet, which is the one in McDonald's. With that being said, here is the bag and it's in the chalk white here you have this tan tannish color here then down at the bottom it says genuine pebble leather and it doesn't have any feet would have been nice if it would have had feet because you know when you go to sit it down it wouldn't you know this white part wouldn't touch you know dirty surface or anything like that it's a little bummer for me because again i don't baby my bags but i don't want to have to worry about oh my god if i put it here or something you know something is there it can get dirty so i didn't take in consideration that this part here was white because like i said i really couldn't see the true colors of the bag on the actual website if i didn't mention this bag original price was 450 dollars again it was on the outlet and it wasn't you know 450 i think it was like 227 with the extra 25 percent off here you have your turn lock here which locks your bag now i did see a few videos on this particular bag and a lot of people did have a problem with the fact that it wasn't no back pocket here so if you go and place your cell phone in the bag they were saying they had a, a you know a lot of problems with going in and out the bag i could see that being a problem it would have been nice if somehow they could have fit a back pocket here where you can actually place your cell phone back here that's not a deal breaker for me because i would just go and open up my bag and grab my cell phone but most of the time i have my cell phone in my hand anytime it's in my bag is because i won't need it for a while so like i said with my um with my car keys i have a lot of my major cards in there so i don't have to go in and out of my bag every time i'm paying for something because like i said i carry in my henry bindle um card holder thing with the keys i was saying when i go out i don't always have to grab my pocketbook all the time because i can just grab my keys and go and run to the store and have everything that i need so love you know that little um pouch thing i am looking to get another one but i'm just you know making sure i pick another good one because like i said i love that one so much like i haven't stopped using it and it's been over two years since i used it. the only reason why i haven't shared that as of yet because when i share y'all can't purchase it because y'all know henry bendel has closed down but anyway i'm getting off topic that's the only thing when you filming and you by yourself you can't have nobody you don't have nobody to say okay tamika get back on track so i'm gonna tell myself get back on track is your inside i'm gonna go ahead and pull out everything in the inside so y'all can see the bag and i will tilt the camera again so we can focus strictly on the bag not me so i'll be right back okay, so hopefully you can see the bag but i did take everything out So I can show you. So like I was saying, I'm not sure if this is called, this color is called Oxblood. But if it is, here is your color right here in your inside. And I forgot to mention your front of your leather is like a pebble leather. leather. And this here white is more like a smooth leather. I'm going to show you. And then here on the sides, I'm not going to pull this out because like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the bag. But here is just like a flap, I guess, to give... Um, the bag some type of look or something i don't know so i did hear a lot of people complain about this now they said that 
this hair falls off by itself like it'll just fall off and i can see that happening i'm not sure if it's because this hair is short because as you can see it's really short so i'm not sure if that's why it can you know pop off by itself because you would think wouldn't because the way you snap it in but yeah i did hear a lot of people complain about the fact that this hair will fall off and then i also heard i'm not sure if this is true but they were saying if this fall off they don't have extras for you to be able to replace it so again i'm not sure about that if y'all know anything about that let me know down in the comment section because saying this hair is a really good quality um tag like this is not like the original um you know like your leather tags this hair feels like really 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 good quality like if this was to come off and i was to lose it i would really be upset because this is not flimsy and cheap at all and in the unboxing it has your actual coach horse hair and you can feel it and then here around the tag part is also gold or brass or whatever not sure if it's brass or gold so as you can see the um the little what is it the little tab or the little whatever this is you can see it's kind of short so like i said i'm not sure if that's the reason why it can fall off and then it's also heavy saying it has weight to it so again you got this thing here that has a little bit of weight and then this hair is short so i can see it falling off and you know and you wouldn't know it so can be a little deal breaker for me because again when i'm carrying my bag i don't have time to be you know watching this and you know making sure it don't fall off because that really brings that really brings a lot to this bag having this little bag charm on here i'm gonna play with it some more but if y'all have this bag and have had problems with this let me know what y'all did to fix it or make it actually stay that people took and like took pliers or something to squeeze the um the the clamps together to make it not fall or whatever so i'm not sure if that worked or not i don't know moving on to the inside of the bag here in the inside you have a few pockets zipper patch pocket here so here you have your gold pull tab which says coach on the pull tab and one thing about this bag the hardware is amazing you guys like it is not flimsy or cheap whatsoever the hardware on this bag is amazing so i just wanted to let y'all know that this hardware is not cheap whatsoever and then you also have a button pocket here where you can button and put some stuff in there as well. Here you have your coach patch pocket, like your coach um, symbol thing. I'm not sure what it would actually say. Coach bag is made of genuine coach. So it just kind of tells you about the bag in 1941. It's made with genuine leather and blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Have that there and it's like a, again, nice thick piece of brown leather or flimsy and then you have your one flat pocket here which i probably will place my cell phone and then you also have your back pocket which you can also again place a cell phone in the back here you have the strap now the strap the only thing about the strap now i don't know how i can fix that again let me know it's something i can do strap here as you can see this goes way down here and it's just like there like i wish it could go like this but since i'm short you know for it to be a nice um length on me as a shoulder bag use the last um buckle up here i have what is this called use the last um little um button up here as like i said um to make it not i didn't want it to hang really long so i used the last one right here but as you can see the strap hangs over and i don't like that so i don't know how can i fix it because like i said i would prefer it to uh hang like this but if i do want it to hang like that i have to put it to this hole right here i mean it's not that bad putting it there but i just like the fact that it looked nice short but i'll show you in the model shots how it look on that particular hole but that was one of the problems that again i had when i was messing with the strap and like the fact that it hung over like that would just make the i don't know i could be wrong you guys but like i said that was 
some of the problems that I didn't like about the bag. I really wasn't 100% sure. And again, the hardware on this particular bag, again, is beautiful and amazing. And it do have your coach here on that little circle part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play some stuff in the bag. So here is my iPhone and I have the iPhone 10. We'll place that in the front pocket just so it can be easy for me to grab it out the pocket. And I'll place my, uh, what is it, mirror in that little button pocket. Place a uh, small wallet. I was going to say full size, but this is considered a small wallet. And where did this come from? Yeah, here's my wallet. And y'all know I always carry these same Ray-Ban glasses. And then I have my pochette, my glasses pouch I was talking about where I carry like all my I carry like all my cards and everything where I don't have to like I said carry a pocketbook or anything like I'll have I have everything that I need in here and I normally will grab this and then it also have a mirror here on the top so this is what I would grab to go out and that's all I would need to Walmart and target or something like i said i would just grab this and that's it and then here on the back i have the picture of my son's uh graduation change the picture but i'm still a proud mom of my son graduating in 2018 so this probably will be here until it looks crazy here it is right here we will have to put the keys in here somehow this bag is not going to carry a whole bunch of stuff. As you can see, I was carrying my Never Full, and you know the Never Full is way bigger than this bag, so a lot of stuff that's in here I won't be able to place in here. A lot of stuff in here I probably wouldn't carry. If I do decide to keep the bag, I probably would have to take out things and put in what's important, like lotion, hand sanitizer, and stuff like that. But for the sake of the video, I'm just putting stuff in here just so y'all can see how much can fit. Let's just say we need, well, not just, let's just say we do need lotion. And if y'all didn't know, I got this at the Dollar Tree. And I did go to the Dollar Tree yesterday when I weighed in at Weight Watchers. And they just stocked up on some of these. And at my Dollar Tree, they leave them at the register because the lady said people be stealing them. I don't know why. They only a dollar. So, yeah, if y'all want to grab some, y'all may want to check your Dollar Tree. I'll place that in here. And then, you know, I have my Michael Kors card case. I will place that in the back. So, of course, we will have to bring a lip product. And I just grabbed Fenty because it was right there. So, as you can see, the bag is really full. Not sure if you could fit anything else in here. I did want to, I don't know, maybe place mail or a book or paper or pen that can fit now i didn't put nothing in the zipper part to show you but here in the zipper part i didn't show y'all that it came with this here like the 1941 line is like real fancy because this never came in none of my other coach bags here is that said so this is really fancy like 1941 line is fancy y'all and it came in this little uh pouch also have your um coach care instructions where it can you know where it explains how to take care of your bag i do have some raggly ass dollars <laughs> these dollars are raggly i don't even know where i got them but they are raggly as hell but yes let's say we're going to place that in your back pocket here is the back pocket part so i'm gonna go ahead and close it So, oh, this is a little heavy. So here's the bag. It is full to its capacity. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the straps on the bag and show you how it looks on the body. Like I said, this bag strap is not long enough for a crossbody. So I just wanted to inform you uh about that before i put the butt the before i put the bag on so like i said this here is on the last uh hoop the last uh loop last circle last whatever it's on the last one how it looks so here is your bag here excuse the bottoms but i just wanted to show you the bag now here, if I move it to the second one, mm. 
and see how I was saying it doesn't hang like that over the um, over the hardware down one so I mean it still looks nice down one but I, I wanted it up a little more because I just felt like I don't know here's the bag on your second hole so I mean it's still a good um, a good length but I just felt like I wanted it a little higher up so that's the only thing like I was saying one of the complaints that I have is the fact that it hangs over the hardware well I guess it's not that big of a difference but it is a little heavy because of the things that I have in here but it's not heavy where it's uncomfortable if you get what I'm saying like it's not like oh my god my shoulders hurting because if y'all don't already know I do not like carrying bags that bother my shoulder and that's why a lot of times that's why a lot of times I don't wear a lot of my Louis Vuitton bags because no matter how I try and downsize they always end up heavy and they dig into my shoulder so um for now I'm into bags that are comfortable so yeah like I was saying I'm more I'm more into carrying bags that are comfortable, you know, on the shoulder, on the back and body and things like that. Getting something new because I'm used to crossbodies, backpacks, hobo bags, things like that. So this bag here is a little different for me. It's a cute bag, but I'm not 100% as of yet. But let me know if y'all love this bag, if y'all already have it, how do y'all like it? Because like I said, I don't want to worry about if the tag is going to come off because i didn't even think you know the tags will come off because like i said i have the tags on my other bags and i never had a problem with it but like i said i watched a few videos and people did have issues with the tag falling off they fall off it's like that's one of the features of the bag that really um caught my eye on purchasing the bag was the hardware like the hardware like i said is amazing and beautiful like this is not no cheap hardware so so i do have two bag charms to show you how they look on this bag now this one i may not be able to show you because i don't have the extra little clip but then again i can use this clip really quick to show you so here i'm gonna show you the bag tag again y'all this bag tag is really nice like i think they should put this on all the bags but i guess that's the um, 1941 line so I'll show you this charm you know this charm i love so much never purchased any of uh coach bag charms or anything like that bag charm don't tarnish or look bad because you know like with the louis vuitton their gold hardware end up tarnished where it kind of look dull and it just look a mess to the point where you really have to actually purchase a whole new lock you know here is that on the side of the bag which looks so cute that's why i wanted the gold hardware because that gold against this bag and the and the color it just looks so pretty let me show you how it looks on with the uh with the bag charm now it do make some noise so if the noise bother you then you may not like this particular charm but like i say it don't bother me because you know i just be chingling and everywhere i go first bag charm and then i'm gonna go ahead and take that off see how short this is like i said i really think this hair falls off because of this being so short I don't know why they would make this so short with this being so heavy because this hair has weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap or light or thin like the other charm. So I don't know if I'm if I'm right, but I just think it has a lot to do with this being so short. It causes this to, you know, pop off or whatever. So here is my beautiful teddy bear. And I'm gonna go ahead and place that here on the side and the hardware is a little different like this looks a little more brassy and this hair gold hardware is a little shinier but it still goes with the bag in my opinion like it still looks nice i don't know too much about the teddy bear because as you can see when i pull it up this hair like pokes up like that so i'm not sure how i could fix that i don't know let me see maybe it was the way i had it on so it kind of pokes out, but I don't know. I probably could fix it, but strap down, it looks nice. But then when you pull it up, it kinds of it kind of stick out like that. Is your bag 
with the bag charm. Now this bag, you really don't need a bag charm, but for the sake of the video, I just wanted to add my bag charms in here just to show you how it looks on the bag. Because this bag is beautiful, but like I said, I have to play with a little more. Like I was saying, it can be a little difficult trying to get into the bag. I mean, if you know you about to, I don't know, if you're paying for your stuff, you know, you can just go like this and just grab what you need and pay for it and go or you can just leave it open when you're about to pay for something or if you know you're ready to grab your cell phone again you just take it this lock here opens and shut really easily so it's not really hard to get into far as unlocking your lock you know like if you do need your cell like say i need my cell phone that's why i placed it in the front so I wouldn't have to worry. Like, see how easy I was able to dig in there, grab it, like, bam, it's here. And then again, and then to put it back, just place it back where it was at. Like, if you, that person that, you know, has a problem with going in and out the bag, I would suggest you to place your cell phone here in the front because I can see it being a little problem in the back only because you have other things in there, you know, you don't. I don't know but like I was saying having it in the front to me in my opinion is a lot easier because the only thing in here is my cell phone like I said when I'm out and like say if I'm like say if I'm out going somewhere and I know I'm going to be on my phone or if I know I'm going to be taking pictures most of the time I carry my uh, cell phone in my hand so I like to be hands-free far as bags guys, like here is your page 27 this here is in your color uh, Beechwood. Bag is called Page 27. So if you want to go and call your local um, outlets to see if they have the bag, you can do that. Called two outlets yesterday just to see if they had other colors. They said they didn't even carry the bag in their stores. So I don't know as of now. It's only available on the website. I'm not sure. It might be available in my particular area. So that's why I said it's best to call. Because you don't want to drive all the way out to the outlets. And then they don't have it. But like I said it is on the website. I'm not sure if I can link it. Because in order to get on the Coach Outlet website. You have to put in your um, email address. To set up an account with the Coach Outlet. So you can get, you know, emails and texts and things like that when they have a special sales and promotions. Here is the bag one more time. Again, I'll show you in the inside everything. And like I said, this is not the stuff I would particularly carry in this bag. But for the sake of the video, I just threw some stuff in here. I'll just take everything out. I have my keys, gum my glasses now the glasses i may not carry because you know it's getting ready to be fall time so i may not need the glasses anymore so that would leave room for something else now this here i probably would carry in my bags because it has like my lip products and all that kind of stuff in here so this here probably will go in all of my bags regardless of what bag it is i have my small wallet i was meaning to switch out to my uh, Gucci but as of now I'm still using that and then I also have my lotion my fancy lip gloss now you guys that here was all in this middle part like that was all in the middle section and in that one button up pocket I had my um, mirror and that was here in this pocket I forgot to tell you the inside of this is like um, what is this like a I don't know the material cloth or something like a tablecloth type of material i don't know y'all i could be wrong and then front flat a uh, flat pocket that's where i have my iphone like i said i put it here in the front part so it can be easy for me to grab it if i need it here i just had in the back pocket i just had my card case now here you can also place your phone back here as well had my um <laughs> raggedy ass two dollars <laughs> like I, I had my raggedy money in there it's really big as well you can put your cell phone in there if you wanted to the way i packed the bag it really wasn't a lot of room to place my cell phone in that zipper pocket so that's the only reason why i didn't place it there but again i don't think i would put my cell phone in that zipper pocket because of course it would probably be 
hard to get in and out the bag. So a lot of stuff, anything that I'll place in my zipper part would probably be cash. Um, I don't know, uh, receipts and stuff. So that's probably where I would keep all that stuff like receipts, cash and stuff like that in that zipper pocket. Yeah, you guys, that's the bag. It on this particular bag, again, it is the Coach Page 27 and it's available on your Coach Outlet website. So if y'all like these types of videos, please give this video a big thumbs up because it helps out my channel and it also helps me to be able to purchase these things to share with you guys. And also, 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 please don't forget to click on that subscribe button because here on my channel, your girl likes to shop. She likes to share her hauls. She also loves to do makeup videos. I'm trying to add that back in my um back on my channel. A lot of people don't watch it, but again, makeup is my I have a love for makeup, so I'm trying to get back to incorporating makeup videos here on this channel. So that's why y'all need to be subscribed. I have a blessed, wonderful week and weekend. And until next video, I will see you guys later. Mm -hmm. Bye.